What's up, YouTube? Dave here from SignalMart.com. So tonight we talk about the pool server, how to set one up, how to create and how to create a configuration, and then how to turn on the pool mode on the target node. So first things first. First task we'll do is actually install the pool service or the DSC configuration feature. And to do that, you're going to need this module. You can get it from PowerShell Gallery if you're running. Uh, PowerShell V5, you can install it just like this. And first, let me remote into my pool server. So now I'm in C scripts. Let's install. And I think this is already installed, so it'll probably tell us it's already installed, but we'll give it a shot. Wanna go yes to all here, and yes, it's already installed. So we're good to go there. So next thing we're gonna do is take our configuration file here, put it in memory. Now all we're doing here is importing the applicable resources. We're telling it we want to ensure that the DSC service is present. And then this is going to be the configuration for our IIS website uh, for the pool server. So we're going to create pool server. So this should create, yep, so see this creates a create pool server folder within scripts. And that localhost.moth is there. So to start that configuration, we're going to start DSC configuration. We're going to go in that pull folder and it'll pull that moth. And we're going to wait. Okay, we're back now. The installation is complete. And let me show you what you should see on the actual machine when it does complete. So I'm in C program files, Windows PowerShell, and you see this DSC service. So this is where I'm going to put all my configurations to be pulled from the pool server. And then if I have any modules that are needed uh, in these configurations, I can set those modules here and have my target nodes pull those from the pool server also. Uh, let's also look at IIS. So you'll see you have a website here for your pool server, and then there's an application pool for it. And if you go into remove features, this is where you can actually remove it. Now, this is only remove the feature if you want to actually disable DSC or take it totally off the this particular server. You'll have to delete that folder path in the PowerShell folder and also manually remove the sites and the application pool from IS. So here it is under features PowerShell and there's the actual feature we installed. All right, so now we have a pool server. Now we need to create a configuration. So as far as the configuration goes, and I'm still doing this on, still running all of this from my SCCM server, all, all the only configuration I'm uh, putting on here is the same configuration I used in the push model uh, video. So same thing. I'm just making sure this particular service is started. So I'm going to put it in memory. Then I'm going to call this configuration or function, I guess. You can kind of say it's a function. So now I've created an exchange service folder inside C scripts, and now I have that exchange moth. Let's go into this folder. So you have to create this checksum file for each configuration moth that you create. And I did that with this little command here. And here you can see both files are in that folder. All right, so now we have our configuration files created. We've got our checksum created. And now we need to move it into the actual correct folder path on the pool server. So now I'm in my pool server, which is my SCCM server. I'm going to copy these folders from C Scripts Exchange Service. 
and I'm going to put them in program files, PowerShell, DSC service configuration. I'm just going to dump them in here. So now they're ready to be pulled by a target node. So our next task will be turning on the pull mode from the actual target. All right, so now we've got the pull server set up. We've got the configuration file done on the pull server. Now we're going to tell the, in this case, the exchange server, which is my target node, to pull that configuration from the pull server. Now, one caveat, my exchange server is PowerShell v4. So this is how you have to do it with the PowerShell v4 uh, using a configuration ID. If you have PowerShell v5, it's slightly different. Google that, you can find plenty of examples. So here I'm going to call the configuration ID is going to match the file name on my pool server. So exch happens to be this configuration ID. Uh, I'm going to tell it to pull. I'm going to reboot if needed. I'm going to do it every 30 minutes. Uh, or I'm going to refresh in every 30 minutes. Uh, apply an autocorrect. So if at some point the service that is being configured in the configuration is turned off, once it refreshes, it'll turn it back on. Uh, here's my pull server URL. Uh, and I'm allowing unsecure connections. So in real life, you probably want to do this with SSL HTTPS. All right, so I'm going to put this in memory. I'm going to call my function to create my MOF file. Okay, there's my MOF file. Now I'm going to apply this configuration on my Exchange server. And that is what you should get for something similar. All right, so that's pretty much it for the pull mode. If you have any questions, hit me down in the comments. I'll have the code up on signalwarn.com. Take it, use it however you can. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have video ideas, uh, send me an email or hit me down in the comments. I think maybe the next video will be PowerShell on Linux, just because I have no Linux experience. So we'll kind of learn that together. All right, thanks for watching.